Bob Terrence called out Keith Thurman at the end of the fight. How realistic is that fight and is the well, beef with Heyman uh, over? Well, you don't call off out Keith Thurman when the guy is just going in for an operation and can't fight for six months. I mean, you know, Keith Thurman's an excellent fighter. I'd fight Keith Thurman with his bad elbow. <laughs> <laughs> How about giving Adrian Bruno a call for Terrence Crawford? When, you know, I don't want to get my car shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, what did you think about the reception to Bob in New York City? Good reception for the first I think it was room? No, but you, you got to understand what we did. We put over 8,000 people in. We did it for the lower book. But how did we do it? Well, because Crawford brought people from Omaha, and he's a good fighter. New Yorkers wanted to see him. The Peruvian kid that got knocked out in two rounds by Beltran sold over a thousand tickets. The guy from, I didn't know there was an Uzbekistan community here in Brooklyn, 200 of them came and bought tickets. This is New York. So when you do a fight show in New York, you bring people, Shakur from New Jersey, this kid is gonna be a star, Lopez, you know, comes he comes with a lot of people. You know, that's what you do. You put together a show that appeals to all different people. It's not just one person that brings everybody in. Why did the more promoters figure that out? I don't know. Because that why? Because I don't know, maybe they're too old. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, what's next for Shakur? He said he wants to step up the competition a little bit. Well, he is going you know, we'll, we'll, I'll sit down with uh, James and Andre and we'll figure it out. But one thing is sure, he ain't sitting on his ass. He's going to fight, you know, every six weeks or so. Are you going to keep him in New York a lot, Bobby? Well, I'm going to, wherever, wherever the wind blows, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, and uh, uh, you know, I got, you know, Conlon fighting in Chicago, and then if, if it goes okay, he's gonna fight in Australia, and you know, in Shakur, we'll see. You know, I'd like to give these guys a lot of international experience, also. If the unification bet doesn't work out for the summer, could Crawford just jump to welterweight now and? No, he's gonna fight somebody. Gonna I fight don't somebody. know. You know. As far as the weight is concerned, it's going to be a good, a saleable fight, but he's going to fight this summer. He's going to take two weeks off and then go back in the ring. I mean, the idea that you get a talent like Crawford or Lomachenko and you have them fight once or twice a year is a crime. Look at, you know, I don't want to, because I've been around forever. I mean, Oscar De La Hoya, when he was coming into real prominence, he was fighting five times a year. You know, HBO, he was fighting pay-per-view. He was fighting all the time. That's what they got to do.